Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode, another edition of Speaking Out Podcast. And I'm your host, the Mr. Darius Silver, aka Mr. GQ, bringing some, bringing some unbelievable content for you, the individual, you, the people, and you, the supporter, bringing some content that's going to inspire you, to motivate you, to always, always, always speak up. Speak about speak, speak, speaking up is always going to make you more confident make you better, make others around you better, and so it brings awareness to topics that you feel passionate about. So I'm excited to bring another unbelievable topic, unbelievable content, another unbelievable episode for you, the supporters out there, you, the returning viewers, and you, the new viewers. So if you're, if you're a new viewer, thank you for tuning in. Much appreciated as always. And if you're a returning viewer, whoa, 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 what are you doing? You forget to hit the subscribe button? Stop it, stop it. What are you doing? You watching the Speak Up Now podcast and you watching your host, Darius Silver, aka Mr. GQ, give you some unbelievable content. What are you doing? I need you to subscribe right now. Check out my social media platforms, the channel screen, Facebook, Instagram, and this platform, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you continue to tune in and watch the full episode. Come on now. This is the Speak Up Now podcast, where we're inspiring others to speak up and do better. Come on now, subscribe. Come on, subscribe. All right, let's get you back to the full episode. Boom. You know what it is. Much love to you. So keep on supporting. Keep on uh, following the journey. Keep on following the podcast. I hope you inspire more of your family, friends, peers, everyone to come to the Speak Up Now podcast and never disappoints when it comes to the topics. So, um, if you are, um, if you're ready, if I said, if you're ready for today's episode, for today's topic, say it with me, if you're a returning viewer, let's rock. So, <clears throat> for today's topic, or for today's episode, is, is another, another man-female relationship, relationship type of, type of thing, as you see by the title. But I feel like it's an important topic because I feel like we all go through this as men and as women. So I feel like it's better to address this thing head on, combined together, instead of trying to break it into one gen- one side of the gender, post the other side of the gender. So I thought that was kind of fair and respectful to both sides. So I decided to do it this way. So for today's topic, is a, a, a good one. A good question at that. If you, I want you, the viewer, to let me know what you guys think. Okay? For today's topic is the sentence and closely. Either or. Can a man or woman be loyal forever after they cheat one time or multiple times? I'm going to say it one more time. Listen closely. Can a man or woman, either or, be loyal after they cheat one time or multiple times? Can they be loyal forever or whatsoever? And that's an open, that's an open question for both sides of the aisle. But I'm gonna address the boy side first, to give my perspective as a man. Then I'm gonna address a woman's side's perspective. Even though I'm not a woman, I'm still gonna address and give him give my opinion on it. So, in my opinion, as for from, from a man, I feel like a man will be, I feel like a man can be loyal after the fact. Sometimes, no, put that on the disclaimer, sometimes a man can't be loyal forever, even if they even if they try to multiple times. I'm gonna give you my reason why I feel like a man can be loyal easier than a man a woman can after they uh, cheat once multiple times. My reason why a man can actually be loyal after the fact is because um, most, at least, at least in today's comment, once that man understands what that damage can be done to a family, a woman, a relationship, a marriage, whatsoever, and understands the consequences of it all once or multiple times, and realize that he's only doing damage to himself long term, and long term and in the short term, he, I feel like he he gets less chances than a woman would. So a man, a man in today's time, even back then, 
can can cheat once or multiple times, but those those lives and chances run out pretty pretty quick, and they only have so many opportunities to fix those problems or whatsoever. So if a man cheats once or twice or whatsoever, and he gets one more last chance to figure it out and be loyal to his family, his wife, his girlfriend, his fiance, whatsoever, I feel like uh, he he knows what's at stake. And he has no choice. Even, and plus, he knows he wants to be better for it his family, his woman, whatsoever, et cetera. So I feel like it's easier for a man to sit, settle down after making mistakes, settle down, understand what's, the, what's at stake, and settle down knowing that uh, is, does, he want to, does he want to lose everything? And to, financially and emotionally. Again, men have a worse when it comes to uh, consequences than women. I made an episode about that, go check it out. But men have a worse than women when it comes to consequences when it comes to being disloyal and, 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 and infidelity. So they have a worse when it comes to financially, most importantly, when they, they, they do something wrong financially, and they have a worse culturally, society-wise. So I feel like, if I'm, especially in today's world with 24 seven uh, social media coverage whatsoever, 24 seven all of the media whatsoever. So I feel like a man knows that, you know, if he cheats once or twice, whatsoever, he knows that there's big, big consequences behind. So if he gets a, if he gets one last chance to be loyal forever and be loyal to his woman, even though he should have been loyal from the, he been loyal from the start, disclaimer, he should have been loyal from the start. But if he been here, if he gets one last opportunity to be loyal after the second or third, after the second or third, whatsoever, he knows he probably will more than likely from a man's perspective, just because bigger consequences involved, financially, emotionally, understands that, you know, a man only does it, cheats, in my opinion, for the fun of it, no emotions, no emotions are, are involved, most of the time they do it because they, they used to being chasers, men do it because um, they, they want the next thing sometimes, or they want to experience something new sometimes, even though the love for their woman, love for their wife, love for their girlfriend, fiance, it's not going anywhere. They know it's not going anywhere. They, like, you know, it's not going anywhere. They could, they could lay down with a woman one day, come home the next and feel like it is love. That's the woman he wants, but he can't, he can't, he can't help but having that urge to do so. You know, and the urge can be, come from multiple things or, it comes from not, it comes from being immature, you know what I'm saying? It comes from being, from being afraid of something. So that's my, that's my pain on the, on, on, on the man's side. I feel like a man can do it. Sometimes, sometimes not, disclaimer, but a man can do it easier and it's more respected than on the woman's side. But that's my perspective on the man's side. The woman's side is a very, very tricky and complex situation. Again, a disclaimer, I'm not, obviously I'm not a woman, so I can't give the full perspective on it, but I'm gonna give, try to give my, my perspective and my opinion on it. So can a woman be loyal even after they cheat by infidelity once, multiple times? <sighs> Honestly, I have to think on that because most men in today's world, even back then, if they know their wife, fiance, girlfriend, girl that they're talking to cheats once or twice, it's hard to forget that. Men have a hard time forgetting than women do. A, a woman can forgive, not forget, but can forgive a man if he cheats easier than a man can forgive or forget if a woman cheats. That's just a fact of life. It hurts different when we, we know that our wives and girlfriends, fiancés cheat. It hurts different for us. It hits us, it hits us, it hits us differently knowing that another man whatsoever enjoyed our woman. It, hurt, it, hurts, it, hurts, it hurts differently. It hurts differently. It hits home differently. So I feel like from that, from that perspective, if a woman cheats once or twice, can they ever be loyal? Maybe, but will they get the same chances from a, from a man opposed if the was reverse? No, no. More than likely because it, 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 it sticks with us too long. 
Um, it, hurt, it hurts us for too long. We have the image, we have those images and visuals and not have for too long. So can they ever be loyal? I'll, I'll probably say maybe, maybe not because women are emotional creatures. It's not a bad thing. Men can be emotional creatures too, but, but women are emotional creatures. So whenever they do something, emotions are involved most of the time. Disclaimer, most of the time. 80, 90, 90% of the time, emotions are involved. So when they do step outside the relationship or marriage or have infidelities, emotions are involved. So we think that, okay, then we want to the next person, whatsoever. How old habits die hard for both sides, men and women. But if a woman has those bad habits, it's hard for them to realize that, okay, he's different, he's different. Oh, I feel like he's different because he's so-and-so this, he's so-and-so that. A woman can say that, but as soon as he, or when a man messes up once or twice, they go back to their old habits. Women have less patience when it comes to men opposed to the rules of reverse. So that's the key. Women have women have less patience for that. And when they, when they, have, when they have less patience, those habits that are of stepping outside, of doing whatever they want to do just because they can. Oh, I'm a woman, I'm attractive, I'm, I'm bad, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a nine or 10 on the, on the scale, I'm bad. The man I'm cheating on, he's gonna come back to me with us because that's how I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm gorgeous. I don't have to worry about um, him leaving me because he's gonna come back to me with us. It's gonna take a while, man, he might have forgive me, but he's gonna forgive me no matter what. That's the mindset of a woman, and that has to stop. That has to stop, and it starts by talking about it. So when I, when I, when I give my man's perspective on it, it's different. And when I give my woman a side, it's very, very different. It's more tricky, complex, whatsoever. I, just, I mean, again, I'm not a woman, so I, could, I just ask my perspective. So I'm pretty sure all the ladies out there might have their own perspective, all the women out there have their own perspective. That's fine, I digress. I want to hear you, I want to hear your opinions. But that's, you gotta admit that there's, some, there's some sense to it. Again, it works for both sides. Can a man or a woman be loyal, be loyal after they cheat? Something, I mean, it can be no for a man sometimes. It most definitely can be enough for a woman sometimes. But I feel like um, a man can be easier, trusted and loyal, easier after they cheat than a woman should. Only because a man will have a hard time believing his wife after she, she's been emotionally involved with another, with, with, with another man, opposed to a man doing it because a man just has different, in the, in the PG statement, has different prerogatives, different, um, you know, different uh, missions opposed to a woman. A woman is looking for something, opposed to just, just doing something. A woman, like the man, is supposed to do it just to get some type of pleasure from it, and then his love is not going anywhere. You know, it's different. So it's different. So I feel like a man can feel, can be trusted a little bit more quicker, a little bit more easier if after that after infidelities, opposed to a woman. A woman might take a long time, or it might not happen, just because the mindset of a man. Again, I explained to this earlier in the episode. A mindset of a man. If he, if a man visualizes that and gets that image in his mind every time he sees his wife or a woman or girlfriend that after they cheated multiple times, he's not get out of his head. He's not. It's, 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 a, it's just a man thing. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a man thing. I have something to say, ladies out there. It's a man thing. But if a, if a man does it, more likely it's gonna take therapy. Therapy, a lot of talking, conversations, therapy time. Um, but a woman could get over it more than a man could, in my opinion. I could be wrong. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. So, you know, this 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 episode had to be talked about, had to be said. I wanted to put it out there for for discussion, for perspectives and opinions. I want to hear it. What are you guys' opinions? I want to hear it. I still want to ask the question one more time. Can a man or a woman be loyal after they cheat? Can they? I'm asking, can they? That's a yes or a no. Can they? You know, I, I, I digress. That's a yes or a no. I want to hear you guys' opinions in the comment section or on my social media platforms. Let me know, DM me. Let me know, message me. Let me know from this episode. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in hearing, hearing it. So, yeah. That's it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on this video. 
Make sure you subscribe. As always, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, leave us a, hit the subscribe button, most definitely. Please check out my social media platforms. And most definitely go check out my other episodes that I've released so far. I promise you won't be disappointed. I promise you won't, you will come back for more. So yeah, again, thank you for tuning in for this, for today's episode. Um, and yeah, if you're a new viewer, listen, listen closely. If you're returning viewer, you know what comes next. Let's end this episode the right way. All right. So pay attention closely. So as always, stay mellow, keep that mellow mind, stay focused, stay on the same line, stay on that narrow path, keep that, uh, know what you want, like, keep that mellow mind. And as always, as my man, Ken Newton says, Ace Boogie, you got one finger, one pinky, one thumb, one love. Boom.